Uh, Ryan, how about at uh, Kellen? Uh, give us an example there, if you will, of a uh, of a um, you know a um, a project that you are working on that you'd like to highlight that sort of highlights the capability of this uh, different types of technology and techniques. Yeah, so at Kellen Technologies, we specialize in backup and disaster recovery, um, which often becomes the dip the toe in the cloud for a lot of organizations. I see that um, a lot. Yep. And recently, we've been working with an organization that has petabytes and petabytes of data sitting in on-prem data centers um, with really no coop to speak of because they didn't have the budget to really do coop. So they have a coop plan, but the coop plan relies on a lot of tapes and a lot of old legacy, uh, legacy methods. Um, so what we did is we started uplifting their data into the cloud just for Coop and DR. So get that storage up there, have them start working through the process of what does a real DR and Coop site look like in the cloud. You don't have to have the resources pre-provisioned. They can be dynamically spun up um, and they start gaining a lot of confidence in that environment. And then within months, they start talking about, okay, well, maybe this workload can shift up into the cloud. Um, and we do a lot of work with Convault software and Convault allows freedom of movement between all cloud and on-premise environments. And so once they have that, their data on that platform, they can shift a VM from on-prem to in the cloud or from one cloud provider to the other cloud provider, or choose to take that, that VM or data back out of the cloud because for some performance metric or some reason, it doesn't make sense to be there. And it, it's really been successful for them to find the, the real balancing point of cost and freedom of data movement and flexibility within that model, knowing that they can take their data and move it wherever they need it to go and, and really identify what structure for them makes the most sense. 